That was genuinely one of the best games and the, an all-time classic. Uh, Wolves' real, real battling, grinding performance against a very, very good Bristol City team who I wouldn't be surprised are up there in the top two or certainly in the top six come the end of the season. Down to 10 men early on, I'll come to the, back to that in a minute. Uh, down to 10 men, Nuno being sent off as well. Getting to half time at 0 0 was a real plus point. I think if we'd have, there were chances that uh, Bright, uh, Bristol had in that first half that could have easily put the game to bed. However, every single player stood up and showed real maturity and took responsibility for their roles and played above themselves. I didn't think there was anybody today who had a poor game. In particular, Connor Cody, Romain Sice, I thought really stood up and showed their leadership qualities today. Now with the red card, it didn't really change how we played that much because we had uh, Ryan Bennett came on for Bonatini, which was the right decision because Bonatini, lacking a little bit of pace, wouldn't have been a decent enough outlet up there to have. So bringing Bennett on allowed us to carry on playing the same way in our own third and then have the Costa and Jota to break away. Now Bristol's goal off was very, very well taken. It was a very quick move uh, and sim similar to the sort of moves that we've seen in the past. Uh, for us, uh, the way they moved the ball was very, very impressive and quick, one-touch football. A uh, bit of unfortunate, I think, with the, the finish, took a deflection before going underneath John Ruddy. However, that didn't dis didn't dissuade the Wolves uh, at all. We kept on coming, uh, even though we were 1-0 down, down to 10 men. <coughs> Cavalier made a massive difference coming on. Costa looked a little bit jaded. He was calling over to the bench for quite a long time before coming off to be taken off. Neves putting that ball through for Doherty. A definite red card for their goalkeeper. No doubt about it. Came storming out. I don't think he really needed to do that because they had a defender covering as well. Nevertheless, red card and Barry Douglas took that opportunity fantastically. And it's such a key part of a team now to have somebody who's so good at free kicks. Because if we're struggling to score goals from open play, or if we can't break a team down, if we get a chance like that now, we've got somebody who from 20, 25 yards out can provide a shot like that. I believe it took a deflection again, but all the same, fantastic uh, goal and a great eruption from that away end because of the relief uh, of having been down to 10 men and not looked like anything was going to happen and it wasn't going to go our way looked like we might get something and that period then after that goal we had a couple of chances that looked as if we were going to pinch the the win then but it didn't quite happen and we had to keep being patient Bristol had a few chances then as well but it came in the last couple of seconds the dying embers of the game Douglas's free kick he looked so determined when he stood up to that whipped it in didn't look didn't wait didn't look up didn't hold his hands up in the air he got it straight into the back post and Ryan Bennett was there and I've never felt so Oh, I can't even put it into words. It was an amazing, amazing moment. I was jumping on my chair. I hugged an old man. It was just the best moment of the season so far. But today's game, all day I've been thinking, right, this is a sort of a watershed moment. If we win this game, we'll be so many points clear and we'll be able to really focus then on going on. If we lose, let Bristol back into it, then it becomes sort of, we're back six weeks and we're back to where we were in October, September sort of time. The end of the game did feel like a game that we'd have in April or in May where we would realise the, the potential of the, this team. And that's the first time this season that we've come from a goal down to win a game and to, in such a big game, such a massive fixture. Uh, it was great to, to be able to do that and show that we can win games in different ways. And as Nuno keeps saying, we've found solutions for all the problems. We found ourselves down to 10 men. We found ourselves without the manager again. But we stayed calm, we kept on going, and we did it, we found the solution. Now I'd just like to briefly touch on the ill discipline at the start of the game. I thought Danny Bart really let himself down today, it was this opportunity to show himself that he was ready to come back into the team and to show that he was good enough to replace Ryan Bennett or Roderick Miranda, but I think it all went to his head a little bit. I don't think the tackle was as bad as I first thought. I did think at the time that it was terrible and it was definitely a red card. I think 10 years ago it probably wouldn't have been a red card. He was 50-50 and he won the ball, but the excessive force, which was caused by the momentum that he had going forward. But he needs to, you know, he didn't need to be making a tackle like that in 
the position that he was in. It was a long way forward in the their half. It was a silly tackle to make and he put himself in a position where he let the team down in that first 15 minutes. Luckily, it didn't uh, cost us in the end. Nuno, however, twice now in a couple of months that we've seen him being sent off and I think if he's the figurehead of this team, that he needs to look at himself as well in terms of his discipline. Now, don't get me wrong, he's a fantastic manager and I love him, but it's just, it's boiled over now a couple of times too many on that touchline. I think he needs to just turn it down just a little bit when it comes to talking to fourth officials and stuff. Let me know what you think, because I know that this is going to be a divisive uh, talking point. But I just think that if the captain and the manager is showing ill discipline like that, it doesn't send a great message to the rest of the squad. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel, the fan channel of the team that is 10 points clear at the top of the championship going into the new year. Have a great new year, all of you, and I'll see you after the Brentford game on Tuesday. Goodbye.